In this video, you will learn about roles in SAM.gov, what permissions roles give to users, and how you can request or accept a role. In SAM.gov, roles are sets of privileges or permissions that are assigned to user accounts, and they allow you to access certain types of data and to perform certain tasks. Roles are granted by administrators of an organization, not by GSA. Role privileges are different for federal and non-federal users and also different for each domain. Before we learn about roles, let's explain domains. Domains are functional areas as seen here on the homepage. They roughly map to legacy federal award systems we have retired. For example, the legacy system called Wage Determinations Online or WDOL.gov is now the Wage Determinations domain. The legacy system called Federal Business Opportunities or FBO.gov is now the Contract Opportunities domain. Each domain allows you to search for, view, report on, or modify different types of data. When you request or are assigned a role in a domain, you gain access to data within that domain and have the ability to perform tasks in that domain in the award lifecycle of SAM.gov. You can also be granted a role with an entity, which provides you the ability to view and manage entity data, like renewing a registration or submitting a service contract report. To request or accept a role in any domain or with any entity, you must first set up a SAM.gov account and be signed in. If you are a non-federal user and you want to get a role with a business or organization registered in SAM, we recommend that you use your email address from that business or organization to set up your SAM.gov account. Once you set up your SAM.gov account and sign in for the first time, you are prompted to complete your profile. Here you have the option to enter a CAGE code or a unique entity identity number to request a role within that organization. If you are a federal user and you want to access federal user roles, you must set up your SAM.gov profile using your .gov or .mil email address. Federal users are required to provide details about their federal organization before completing the account signup. If you skip that step after signing up, you can also choose to request a role later from your profile page. Just go to your profile account details, select My Roles from the side menu, and then select Request Role. Enter the required information, then select Submit. Another way to request a role is from your workspace. Under your notifications is an area labeled Add a new role. Select a role from the drop down menu. Verify that you have a business need for that role by checking the box under the menu, and then select Request role. Enter the required information, then select Submit. You can check which roles you already have and see pending role requests from your profile. At the top of your workspace, select Profile. On the side menu to the left of your account details, select My Roles. Here, any roles you already have are displayed, and an information box above will indicate any pending role requests. As we showed you earlier, the Request Role button is located on the My Roles page. Select it to start a new role request. Enter the required information, then select Submit. The system will navigate you back to your My Roles area of your profile, and the notification will indicate that your role request is pending review. Status updates about your role request are emailed to the address associated with your account. If your role request is approved, 
It can take up to 15 minutes before you can see the tools in your workspace, we call them widgets, that are associated with your new role. An administrator can also begin the process of giving you a role. When you receive a role assignment, it means that an administrator of the entity or the federal organization has invited you to accept a role for their organization. If you do not already have a SAM.gov account at that time, the system will send you an email with instructions on how to create an account and then respond to the role assignment. If you do already have a SAM.gov account, you are prompted to accept the role the next time you sign in. You can review and respond to the role assignments from the My Role section of the profile. And remember, it can take up to 15 minutes before you see the new widgets and tools in your workspace after the role is assigned. Thank you for watching this video about roles and role management. Remember that you can search the Federal Service Desk Knowledge Base for additional videos and frequently asked questions, or get help with technical issues at fsd.gov. To provide GSA feedback about the features, functionalities, or the user experience in SAM.gov, click the Feedback button located at the bottom of the site.